Talk about compare and contrast. And contrast. Thank you. Write that on the top of your paper. That's please. easy. We already learned it. Okay, well, yes. yes, you still remember. <laughs> then this is good review. If you haven't done that during the regular school year, this is going to be a piece of cake for you guys to learn. Okay, just write that. Write that, please, on your notes. Okay. Yep, yeah, right under, you can do a little dash for a number one. Compare, anybody with, in the class would like to share what comparing means. Yanisa, thank you very much. Comparing. Yes, right, same, similar. Comparing means two, or more, yeah, that can be people, two or more things. Is it plural, two or more things? Two or more things that are alike. Like twins. We'll talk about it right now. So, compare, alike, similar, the same, right? Think of those synonyms there. Or more things that are alike. So write that in your notes. <laughs> Usually you would have a notebook to take these notes. Yeah, that's what we have. Okay. Are you guys doing writing this down? No. Okay. Now, contrast. Let's think with our huge brains of ours. If comparing, if we're gonna compare two things that are alike, we're gonna take them apart now. Sarah? Two things or more that are different. Yes, right? Two or more things. That are different. That are different. Those don't equal. Right? Comparing and contrasting. We're going to do that. But here we go. Comparing and contrasting, you can do a lot of things. You can do it with characters, right? In books, movies. You can do it with settings. What's a setting? No, no what's a setting? Where takes place. Where what? The thing takes the story Where takes place. place. What is our setting right now? In the classroom. Okay. Thank you for raising your hand, Gabby. In the classroom. The classroom, right? In school, right? So if we were in a book, the setting would be a yeah. classroom. Classroom could surely lay. The setting would be a book. Right? And, or you could do it with just objects, right? That you see in a movie, that you read in a book. For example, let's do this fun one. Let's compare and contrast SpongeBob and Squidward. And Squidward right? Shh. Give me one thing that could be alike, that they do alike, they could do alike, they are alike, right? Two ways they are kind of the same, right? Uh, let's do Camila too. They both work at the Krusty Krab. They both work at the Krusty Krab, right? SpongeBob makes the hamburgers. What does Squidward do? Take the orders. Take the orders, right? Okay. What's one more way they are alike? So that's a good one, Camila. Elvis, thank you for raising your hand, Elvis. They both hate each other? <laughs> does, Spon does SpongeBob hate Squidward? No. No, he actually, he annoys Squidward, right? Because he's always following him around, right? So that's, I like the way you're thinking. What's one more way they could be alike? Right? They live in the neighborhood. Okay, they live in the same on the same street, right? Yeah. They, live yeah, the same they, same they live next to each other. They, they live both in the water. Oh. 
they both are underwater. 